head straight downtown where News 2's Olivia Parsons is watching the flooding as tides begin to change. Olivia, have we seen any changes in the past 30 minutes? Absolutely. So we're down here where Lockwood meets Broad, and look at that change in the last literal 20 minutes. The sidewalk almost completely submerged. Take a look at these cars as they slowly make their way about around the bend here. You can see that water, you know, just touching the tire. This Mini Cooper, it's probably going to get to the underneath of it. You know, we say this time and time again turn around, don't drown, because look at what you're putting yourself through. You could get stuck in the middle there, and these are waters I wouldn't really want to get stuck in. Nonetheless, um, took a drive around downtown, been monitoring some road closures. I see on the city's website as of right now, Broad Street, Fishburn Street, Haygood Avenue, Lockwood Drive, Morrison Drive. Again, the typical spots where we usually do see um, those flooding closures, street closures. Um, according to North um, National Weather Service, excuse me, 1048 this morning, the high tide rate, the gauge read 7.06 feet. As you can see, we're starting to see, you know, the, the high tide creep into the waterways here. That car over there, what you're looking at, turning around. That's a smart decision as we continue to see the water spill over into the street here. And if you're, you know, someone who's been downtown, you're no stranger to the fact that these roads do flood. It's better to just turn around and to not go through that standing water. Don't drive around those barricades. They're in place for a reason. We'll be down here ahead of what's expected to be that high tide just before noon, continuing to monitor those um, conditions, and we'll bring you the latest as they develop. But for now, reporting here in downtown Charleston, Olivia Parsons, Count on Two.